the story begins when I was in the 12th standard. I wanted to do architecture. My parents said, you have a choice of either computer engineering or medicine. I was wondering what to do, but I loved harmony. So I chose computer engineering. I was in a conflict, but because harmony was so close to my heart, and that is why this decision was made. I got married. After marriage, another conflict in my life. Financial independence or financial dependence? I chose financial independence. With that came another conflict. I wanted to bring up my children on my own as a full-time mother, a hands-on mother. So the conflict was a hands-on mother, full-time mother, or support from my parents and in-laws. With a heavy heart, I chose the later to take support. Over the years, Monica, who had been a fun-loving, full of dance and play, who believed in fairies and magic, suddenly became, started to become somebody who was always worried, sad, angry, frustrated. The joy had gone out from my life. I didn't know why. I just continued my life lifelessly. As I entered the 50s, I started to feel even more suffocated. I just didn't know what joy meant. I tried hard to dance, to sing, but the dance wouldn't come. The music wouldn't come. The play wouldn't come. I tried and tried, but nothing worked. And then one day, I happened to hear a story, an audio story. It was the story of the centipede and the fox. One day, a fox saw a centipede walking. Now a centipede is a creature with 100 feet. Imagine with two feet, it's so difficult to walk. How does the centipede walk with 100 feet? The fox looked at the centipede and wondered, how does the centipede walk with 100 legs? Now the fox stands for the mind, the logic, the analysis. The fox said to the centipede, how do you walk with 100 legs? How? The centipede stopped. The centipede said, I don't know, I just walk. But wait, let me think. And the centipede closed his eyes. At that time, the centipede was divided. The mind, the observer and the observed. The centipede started observing how it walks. And then it wouldn't walk. It just wouldn't walk. The centipede told the fox, I'm unable to walk now. The fox laughed and said, Oh, I knew that beforehand itself. <laughs> how can anyone walk with hundred legs? I knew it, I knew it. The centipede started crying. Oh, I'm never going to be able to walk again. And you are the cause of my problem. I could walk, now I can never walk again. What am I going to do? The harmony was lost. The centipede was divided. 
the bliss was lost. There was no oneness. As I listened to the story, it occurred to me, that is what has happened to me. The harmony is lost. Who I am inside is not who I am outside. I have put on this mask. I was an artist. A child at heart, a carefree person who danced for no reason, who danced more than walked. My brothers and sisters laughed at me because I danced around the house. I was never interested so much in studying. I kept playing outside all the time. I quickly finished my homework and played outside. And yet I did well at school. So it was no big deal for me. But over the years, this magic had gone out. I was no longer the person who I, who I truly was. I lived a dual life, which I didn't even know. But the centipede brought back that understanding. And then I started to water the plants again, do gardening. I started to dance my own dance without thinking of how the world danced and what dance meant to the world. This was my dance, my actions. I started to sing in a voice where people had earlier laughed. My own, my own had laughed at my singing. I didn't care. I was in harmony with myself once again. And then I joined Applied Theatre because that's what I really loved. That is what who I was. And then came Priyanka, who taught us the magic of stories. I thought, I cannot be a storyteller. I'm, I'm still logical. I mean, even though I've got back some play, some dance, I started accepting myself for who I am, but I am not a storyteller. And I don't even know what story to tell. And I came unprepared to class. And then this is the story that I told. Thank you so much. My song, my heart now sings, Kol de par, kol de par. Call the bird, call the bird. Thank you.